Good day my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. The holiest site in Islam, the revered Kaaba, is no longer the bustling heart of pilgrimage but stands eerily silent and shuddered. In a real twist of fate, the vast sun-scorched expanse of the Arabian desert has transformed into raging rivers. This dramatic upheaval has brought catastrophic floods to Mecca, submerging the sacred Kaaba beneath relentless torrents. The scene is nothing short of apocalyptic, evoking powerful imagery straight from the pages of biblical prophecy. This unprecedented deluge has left many in stunned disbelief, grappling with the profound implications of such a momentous event. Are we living in the end times? What do we need to face in the future? Let's dig deeper into these questions in today's video. The incredible and unprecedented flooding that has struck the cities of Jazan and Mecca in Saudi Arabia is nothing short of a cataclysmic event, a disaster of biblical proportions that has left the nation reeling in disbelief. The heavy rainfall, which has pounded the region relentlessly, has transformed the typically arid Arabian desert into a landscape of flowing rivers and submerged streets, causing widespread chaos and destruction. This is a scene that no one could have anticipated, the vast dry expanses of sand and rock, usually scorched under the relentless sun, now resemble a watery abyss, a surreal vision of nature's unbridled fury. The continuous downpours, lasting for hours without reprieve, have pushed rivers and reservoirs beyond their breaking points, resulting in their banks bursting and torrents of water flooding into residential areas and main roads. The scenes unfolding are both mesmerizing and heartbreaking, as desperate citizens struggle to save their homes and belongings from the relentless encroaching waters. Streets once bustling with life and activity are now silent, filled with murky water that swirls with debris, a testament to the sheer power of the flood. In Jazan and Mecca, the local authorities have declared a state of emergency, with officials working tirelessly to manage the escalating crisis. Evacuations are being conducted on an unprecedented scale, with rescue services operating around the clock to ensure the safety of the residents. The water levels have risen to several meters in some areas, making traffic impossible and trapping many in their homes. The once vibrant and sacred city of Mecca, home to the Kaaba, the holiest site in Islam, is now facing an almost apocalyptic scenario, with the Kaaba itself surrounded by floodwaters. This has sent shockwaves through the Muslim community worldwide, as the sight of such a revered site inundated is both inspiring and deeply unsettling. Power and communication networks have been severely damaged, leaving thousands without essential services. The darkness that envelopes the city at night is punctuated only by the occasional glimmer of emergency lights, adding to the atmosphere of uncertainty and fear. Shelters have been set up, and volunteers, along with rescue teams, are on the ground providing much-needed assistance to those affected. The spirit of community and resilience shines through amidst the turmoil, as people come together to help their neighbors, offering food, clothing, and comfort to those who have lost everything. The comparison to the Great Flood in the Bible has not gone unnoticed, for many, this deluge has a haunting resonance with the ancient stories of divine retribution and purification through water. Muslims and believers from other faiths alike are grappling with the spiritual implications of such an event. Is this a sign from God, a call to repentance and reflection, or is it simply a natural disaster, a consequence of changing climate patterns and environmental mismanagement? The theological debate is as intense as the physical struggle against the waters. In Jazan, the situation is equally dire. This city, known for its historical significance and cultural heritage, now lies under a watery blanket. The historical landmarks that once stood proudly as symbols of the city's rich past are now ghostly silhouettes in the floodwater. The local government is stretched to its limits, 
with all available resources being directed towards rescue and relief efforts. Helicopters hover above the inundated streets, airlifting those in immediate danger, while boats navigate the new waterways that were once roads. In Mecca, the faithful continue their prayers, seeking solace and strength from the divine. The sight of people praying in the flooded courtyards of the Grand Mosque is a powerful testament to their unwavering belief and hope. It is a scene that encapsulates the resilience of the human spirit, the unyielding faith that sustains people through the darkest of times. For believers, the flood is a stark reminder of the fragility of human existence and the power of the natural world. It is a call to humility, to recognize our vulnerability and our dependence on the divine. It is also a call to action to address the environmental and social issues that contribute to such disasters. The flood in Jazan and Mecca is not just a local catastrophe, it is a global wake-up call, urging us to rethink our relationship with nature and with each other. The unprecedented flooding in Jazan and Mecca is a chapter in the ongoing story of humanity's struggle against nature's might. It is a testament to our resilience, our faith, and our capacity for compassion. The lessons learned from this disaster will hopefully lead to a better, more prepared, and more united future. For now, the focus remains on saving lives and providing relief, a mission that continues to inspire and mobilize people around the world. As you can see, the incredible flooding in Jazan and Mecca stands as a poignant reminder of the unpredictable and often harsh reality of our world. It calls upon us to reflect deeply on our lives, our faith, and our responsibilities towards one another in the face of such immense adversity. The strength and solidarity of the human spirit shine brightest, offering a beacon of hope and a path forward in these troubled times. The recent storm that has battered the holiest city in Islam, Mecca, has left believers and observers alike grappling with questions about the profound significance of these strange and unprecedented events. As torrential rains descended upon Mecca, transforming its arid landscape into a scene of surreal chaos, the air was thick with both astonishment and a deep sense of foreboding. The storm, with its relentless downpour, has done more than just flood streets and buildings, it has flooded the hearts and minds of many with questions about the divine implications of such a calamity striking a place of such spiritual importance. In the shadow of the majestic Kaaba, the very heart of the Islamic faith, the sight of floodwaters rising is not only disconcerting but also deeply symbolic. For centuries, Mecca has stood as a sanctuary of peace and a beacon of faith for millions of Muslims worldwide. The unexpected fury of nature in this sacred city challenges the very essence of its historical invulnerability. It forces the faithful to ponder whether these events are merely natural occurrences or if they carry a message from the divine, a call to introspection and renewal of faith. Believers are wrestling with the theological ramifications of such a disaster. The storm has spurred debates among scholars and laypersons alike about the potential meanings behind these events. Is this a manifestation of divine displeasure, a reminder of humanity's fragility and the need for spiritual realignment, or is it a test of faith, a scenario designed to strengthen the resolve and unity of the Muslim community? The rain-soaked streets of Mecca are now pathways for these profound contemplations, each drop of rain a potential symbol of divine discourse. The Quran speaks of the signs of Allah in the natural world, and many believers see in the storm a clear sign that cannot be ignored. The surreal image of the Kaaba surrounded by water has struck a chord with Muslims around the globe, stirring a mixture of awe and unease. For some, it recalls the biblical flood, a story known in Islamic tradition through the narrative of Prophet Noah. Such parallels evoke a deep, almost primal fear and reverence, reminding believers of the power and wrath of the Almighty, as well as the ever-present need for repentance and righteousness. 
Local authorities in Mecca have declared a state of emergency, mobilizing all available resources to manage the crisis. Rescue operations are in full swing, with emergency services working around the clock to ensure the safety of residents and pilgrims. The sight of helicopters hovering over the sacred precincts, airlifting those in immediate danger, and boats navigating the newly formed waterways of the city adds an apocalyptic dimension to the disaster. It underscores the gravity of the situation, as if even the most sacred sites are not immune to the ravages of nature. This storm has not only disrupted the physical landscape of Mecca but also its spiritual and communal fabric. The flooding of the Kaaba's courtyard, where millions perform tawaf, has halted one of the most sacred acts of worship in Islam. The disruption of such a significant religious practice is profoundly unsettling for many, it raises existential questions about the intersection of faith and calamity, challenging believers to find meaning and purpose amid the turmoil. The international Muslim community has been galvanized in response to the crisis, with aid and prayers pouring in from all corners of the globe, a testament to the unity and solidarity that defines the global Muslim community. This collective response is heartening, as it highlights the deep-seated connections that bind believers together, transcending geographical and cultural divides. However, it also brings to the forefront the urgent need for a deeper, more sustained engagement with the spiritual and moral imperatives highlighted by such a disaster. Amidst the physical and spiritual turmoil, there are countless stories of resilience and compassion. Volunteers, both local and international, are working tirelessly to provide relief to those affected. Makeshift shelters have been established, offering refuge to the displaced. The streets of Mecca, usually echoing with the sounds of prayer and commerce, now resonate with the hum of rescue operations and the sobering silence of a city in crisis. This juxtaposition of human effort and divine testing creates a poignant narrative of hope and perseverance. Believers are also turning to the teachings of Islam to find solace and guidance in these troubling times. The Prophet Muhammad's words about trials and tribulations serve as a beacon of hope, reminding the faithful that patience and steadfastness in the face of adversity are virtues that lead to greater spiritual rewards. The storm, for many, is a reminder of the transient nature of worldly life and the enduring promise of the hereafter. It is a call to reaffirm their faith, to seek forgiveness, and to strengthen their relationship with Allah. The impact of the storm on Mecca will be felt for years to come, both in terms of physical reconstruction and spiritual reflection. The immediate priority is to ensure the safety and well-being of the residents and pilgrims, but the long-term implications are profound. This event will undoubtedly leave an indelible mark on the collective consciousness of the Muslim community, prompting a re-evaluation of their relationship with the divine and their responsibilities towards each other and the environment. For the faithful, the storm is a reminder of the ultimate power and majesty of Allah. It is a call to humility, to recognize the limits of human control and the need for divine guidance. It is also an invitation to deeper reflection on the state of the world and the ways in which they can contribute to making it a better place, in line with the principles of justice, compassion, and stewardship outlined in Islamic teachings. As the waters recede and the process of rebuilding begins, the lessons of this storm will continue to reverberate. It is a stark reminder of the unpredictability of life and the enduring strength of faith. The resilience of the people of Mecca, their unwavering devotion, and their compassionate response to the crisis are a testament to the enduring power of belief. This storm, while devastating, has also brought to the forefront the unbreakable spirit of a community united in faith and purpose. The recent storm in Mecca has raised profound questions about the significance of strange events occurring in the holiest city of Islam. 
It challenges believers to find meaning in calamity, to see the divine hand in the midst of chaos, and to respond with faith, compassion, and unity. As the city rebuilds and the community heals, the storm will serve as a powerful reminder of the fragility of life, the strength of faith, and the enduring promise of divine mercy and guidance. The Kaaba, the holiest site in Islam, a place of peace, unity, and spiritual renewal, has been closed due to the relentless fury of nature, causing a disruption that has sparked a whirlwind of speculation, concern, and intense interpretation among millions of Muslims worldwide. This rare and profound event has not only brought the physical operations of the sacred site to a standstill but has also ignited a firestorm of discussions about divine intervention, supernatural forces, and the spiritual implications of such a calamity. The closure of the Kaaba is a significant event, one that has only occurred a handful of times in history, usually during periods of major reconstruction or severe health crises. The fact that it has been brought to a halt by a storm, a force of nature, adds an element of unpredictability and urgency that is deeply unsettling. As images and videos of the flooded courtyards and the storm-battered city spread across social media and news outlets, believers are grappling with a mix of disbelief, fear, and spiritual introspection. This disaster has underscored the need for preparedness both in terms of infrastructure and in the spiritual lives of believers. It serves as a reminder of the delicate balance between the physical and the spiritual and the importance of maintaining faith amidst life's unpredictability. The closure of the Kaaba, though temporary, has left an indelible mark on the hearts and minds of the Muslims, prompting a deeper engagement with their faith and a renewed commitment to their religious duties. The severe storm and the closure of the Kaaba have thus become a focal point for profound spiritual reflection and discourse. The event has sparked a re-evaluation of personal and collective faith practices, urging believers to seek divine guidance and support in navigating these challenging times. The speculation and concern that have arisen from this disaster are not merely reactions to a physical calamity but are deeply rooted in the spiritual and emotional connections that Muslims have with the Kaaba and Mecca. The storm has been a catalyst for a renewed sense of purpose and urgency in the Muslim world, driving home the message that faith is both a refuge and a responsibility. The severe storm that has led to the closure of the Kaaba in Mecca has been a moment of profound disruption and speculation for millions of Muslims worldwide. This unprecedented natural disaster has raised urgent questions about divine intervention and the meaning of such calamitous events in a place of such deep spiritual significance. As believers grapple with these challenges, there is a heightened sense of urgency to return to the core tenets of their faith to seek divine mercy, and to support one another through acts of charity and compassion. The storm has not only tested the physical resilience of Mecca but also the spiritual fortitude of the global Muslim community, prompting a collective journey of introspection, faith, and renewal. The unprecedented storms that have battered Arabia, particularly around the holy city of Mecca, have caused unparalleled chaos and prompted a wave of interpretations about divine intervention and supernatural forces. For days, the skies unleashed a relentless deluge, transforming the arid desert landscape into a sea of swirling waters, disrupting the rhythm of life in a region accustomed to dry heat and scarce rainfall. Streets turned into rivers, homes were submerged, and the infrastructure, unprepared for such an onslaught, buckled under the pressure. However, it is the strange occurrences around the Kaaba, the spiritual epicenter of Islam, that have captured the world's attention and ignited a fervent discourse among believers and alike. The Kaaba, a symbol of unity and the focal point for the prayers of over a billion Muslims, has withstood countless trials throughout history. Yet the sight of it surrounded by floodwaters, with torrents lapping at its base, 
is a powerful and disconcerting image. This event, seemingly ripped from the pages of an apocalyptic narrative, has left many wondering about its deeper significance. Is this an act of divine will, a manifestation of God's power, and a reminder of humanity's fragility, or are there otherworldly forces at play influencing the natural world in ways that challenge our understanding? As the storm's intensity grew, so did the bewilderment and fear among the people. Witnesses reported seeing strange lights in the sky and hearing eerie sounds that seemed to emanate from the heavens. Such phenomena have only added to the speculation about supernatural involvement. In Islamic tradition, natural disasters can be interpreted as signs from Allah meant to awaken the faithful and guide them back to the righteous path. This perspective has gained traction, with many viewing the storm as a divine warning, a call to repentance, and a prompt for deeper spiritual reflection. The closure of the Kaaba, a rare and momentous decision taken to ensure the safety of pilgrims and residents, further accentuates the gravity of the situation. The Quran speaks of the signs of Allah being evident in the natural world, and the faithful are urged to heed these signs as reminders of God's omnipotence and the transient nature of earthly life. In light of the storm, verses that speak of the heavens and the earth shaking as a testament to divine power resonate with renewed urgency. The believers, confronted with the raw force of nature, are reminded of their own vulnerability and the need to seek solace and strength in their faith. Local authorities have been overwhelmed by the sheer scale of the disaster. Rescue operations are ongoing, with emergency services working tirelessly to evacuate those trapped by rising waters. The sight of helicopters airlifting the stranded and boats navigating the flooded streets of Mecca is surreal and heartbreaking. Shelters have been set up to provide refuge for the displaced, and international aid is being mobilized to support the recovery efforts. Amidst the chaos, there's a palpable sense of unity and resilience as communities come together to help one another. The storm is seen by some as a test of faith, a divine trial meant to strengthen the resolve of the Ummah. For others, it is a reminder of the eschatological themes present in Islamic eschatology, where natural disasters and celestial disturbances are seen as harbingers of the Day of Judgment. These interpretations have sparked a renewed interest in religious texts and a surge in communal prayers and acts of piety. The eerie phenomena reported by witnesses add a layer of mystique to the storm's narrative. Lights that danced across the stormy skies and sounds that seem to defy natural explanation have fueled speculation about supernatural forces. In Islamic belief, jinn, supernatural beings, are part of the unseen world, capable of influencing the physical realm in ways that can be both benign and malevolent. The storm's strange occurrences have led some to speculate that such entities might be involved, adding to the sense of unease and wonder amidst the fear and confusion. Stories of heroism and compassion emerge as a beacon of hope, with volunteers and rescue workers risking. Amidst the swirling rumors, conspiracy theories have also taken root. Some suggest that the natural disasters are not merely acts of God but rather the result of clandestine experiments or malevolent supernatural forces. Others speculate about the involvement of foreign powers aiming to disrupt the spiritual harmony of the Islamic world. These theories, while lacking credible evidence, thrive on the fertile ground of fear and uncertainty, creating an environment where mistrust and paranoia can flourish. If you enjoy this video please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you in the next videos goodbye.